ProBoxTV.com on our ProBox TV YouTube channel. And once again, we want to welcome our viewers watching tonight on Fubo TV, Canela, Fox Deportes, and Roger Sportsnet in Canada. Violence on, on the 16th today so that you guys can have your Valentine's Day with your loved ones. You didn't like my romance and rumbles there, Paul? Oh, good body shot there, Juno. Good, good body shot from Juno. Juno you know, you know, you know, just threw a very tricky uppercut on the inside that landed to the body on Antonio Moran. Well, we're coming up with romance metaphors. Algeria's actually watching the fight. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry at the Moran right back, and this is what makes Moran tough too, you know? You have a good moment, but Moran's coming right back. He's a Mexican fighter. Yes. And Moran is heavy on the jab and likes to drop that two behind the one, which he just did a moment ago. Moran shot or two two in their fight too. And that was Ortiz's first fight since fighting Lomachenko. Midway point around three. This fight's scheduled for ten. Pro Box TV. Go to the fridge during this fight. But with the, the level of power being thrown between these two guys and the fact that we have 40 knockouts in the ring right now is uh, I wouldn't like anything can happen here. The fighters in great fights. That's for Pro Box TV moniker, man. That's why you're, we're your boxing channel. These are the kind of fights we love bringing you guys at home. We have three main events tonight. I always say we have two. Now we have three. We've been able to stop. These men with a combined 40 knockouts, all of them unbeaten at the time. Frank Martin, Ryan Garcia, and Devin Haney. Yes, a bit of a who's who. Yes. So, whoa, just big swing and a miss. Yeah, good well he just missed it. Well timed, but yeah, just a little short. And he looked to throw a heavy left hook, and now combination. You mentioned, champ, that Miranda time goes straight back. That was an, opera, an example right there where Duno took advantage and landed a good right hand. Hey, straight. And you said he's training a wild card for this fight? Yep. Whoa! 200% boxing camp. Yeah. That was that overhand right he was looking for. The fight continues. Antonio Moran in the gray trunks, black and gold. For the native of the Philippines, Rufus Romero Duno. I don't know, Duno has been inactive. He looks to be in phenomenal shape tonight. Very lean, legs look strong. Re energize and re rebuild is not the worst thing. Yeah, reset it yourself. Yep, and he's only 28 years old, so he had the time to do so. Tonight, the 30th professional bout for Duno. Get back and stay fun, stay back on those fundamentals. Getting back on that jab, staying long, slowing the pace a little bit because Duno was putting a lot of pressure on the last few rounds. That's the new leaders, if you will, the, the guys who have been mentoring Duno, being more relaxed, setting things up. Moran with the one two. And you see that from Duno. You know, he's setting up that overhand right. Sometimes he gets a little wild with it and misses, but when he throws that right hand to the body first, then over the top, he gets himself in position. Polly, they also said that they were working on mad enough. You know what it is, you, when you, I think when you work on speed, you work on your combinations, because, you know, when you use a lot of speed, you can, you, it can also burn out your gas tank, so I think when you work on it, you also work on your conditioning in that regard as well. I think Moran actually hurt Duno with a left hook to the body. And now they're starting that jab out, with good combination. Duno's been backing up ever since that shot. Yeah, that'll take away your gas tank, speaking of gas tank, right? Especially the way that Duno fights, everything's explosive. He throws big conditioning will once again be ultra impressive training in his hometown of Mexico City. I like the way he was just on the ropes there and changed the target so that Duno couldn't really hone in on it on him. Changing the look, changing his height. He does a little selfie as well. There he is again. Dropping down and stepping back and Duno missing. Antonio Moran. <clears throat> Moran with a good combination of solid power, power punches yeah, <coughs> that he landed on Duno in round number four. This is round five, scheduled for ten. Quick quarter for Molly Malachi. Chris Algieri greets me here on Wednesday night on your boxing channel, ProBox TV. You see Duno stop punching and Duno's back up now. Moran started training at age 12. His dad 
Тоже не обнаше было, да? Oh! 